So we're going to finish this bad boy off today. Just rendered pretty much the whole house. Me and my good friend Charlie. He's not here today. So we're just finishing off doing reveals and bits and bobs. But that is what we are working on. And it's looking like it's going to rain. So it's going to be a bit loud. We've got the sea that way. Nice view by the way. Straight over Hastings over there. This is Bex Hill. And then that's the sea. Now at the front, we've got a nice, busy main road, so it's going to be a bit loud. But today we're focusing on whacking reveals on. The project's finished. This is a big stretch that runs all the way down. This is three stories. Um, but yeah, please excuse the noise. It's going to be a bit loud. It's got to see one way and the real road the other. But I'm going to show you how to whack some reveals on. Starting with this. Today, I'm just going to show you how to render these reveals. The process is fairly simple, um, but the idea is, in my eyes, make sure they square straight, make sure they square, make sure they just work within the window. So I did something quite controversial. I just put my render on in one coat, so I've finished everywhere. I always see the reveals last when I'm cleaning up. So what I do is take a little bit onto your trowel, onto your corner, give it in. For the first bit, take a little bit onto your corner your trowel and really push it into the beam. Put an initial coat on, make sure it's in tight to the bead itself. And the head, do the same. Really push it into the bead. And I like to put it on the edge of my trowel. I just find I get a lot more control that way. Take the render off, cut it off into little slivers like that. What you do is you take your render and you just cut it. That way you've got the perfect amount. And I'm going back to reveal, you can use that. So, got the initial coat on. The idea is to push tight into your beads. And then we go again. This time we want to try and get it as straight as possible. Just with a, all we're doing is applying the render. We are going to float and straighten it. But for now we want to try and get it right if we can. So, take another sliver, corner your trowel, push it in. And what I like to do is, when I'm applying it, apply the trowel square to the reveal. This time we're filling it. Now I'll have to run up the bead as well. Now we have got a weapon on this trowel. I'm going to try and make the reveal square. Oh my, use the edge of your trowel and use it as a guide. That is 90 degrees. I'm going to check when I put the head, it's 
right. So, a bit of the head. The new issue went to travel. Put the trowel flat to the window, and you want to make sure that the top right corner is square. So, as you can see, using that as a guide, we can kind of see we've got enough render. Again, we are going to flatten it, but the better. And the more we can get it right at the beginning, the easier it's going to be. I've got the render on. You'll be surprised, even though we've just put it all in one coat, how fast these reveals take up. I think it's about the plastic that pulls the moisture out. But either way, they will take up very fast. So I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. The reason I do it on the last day is whilst I'm putting the reveals on, I have a clean up around the site and then get ready to move out of it. So, We'll give it a bit of time, clean up the cells, get rid of the render, and then come back. I'd say give it an hour, hour and a half, look at how we're doing, then we'll flow it and flatten. Definitely rain coming in that direction, so we better act fast. At the moment it's dry, but let's not mess about. I'm going to show you how to finish these bad boy reveals. The reveal here, you can see definitely not flat keep your flow fixed in a position what you want it you want it square on to the reveal so that way you've got a better chance of getting it square so you're gonna and see it flattening out straight away that's it in there so you can see straight away it's a lot better where it was. Grab the big boy float. Check the tops. Square. Okay. Again, top. Square. definitely some gaps here because I can see them. I'm going to fill them in. Take your render. Literally just spread it in. I'm going to clean the float off. Now smooth it. Now, right, let's run a level, see how we're looking. So, there's no gaps along that bead. I'm going to be checking the back edge. There's nothing you can see, and it's perfectly level. So, that one went well. That's good. Now, I'm going to leave that for a few minutes. I'm going to get another few reveals floated and I'm going to come back and sponge it. I want to see how it's looking, so I'm going to use a level. I'm going to run it to the back edge of the render to see if we are still plumb to the bead. Straight. So. This is one of two things. It shows you where the gaps are. I've actually got a bit of a gap in the render, so I'm going to fill it in, rub it up. So, get a bit of render on your float. Add it in. Just gonna look it back on the level now. What I've done is I've straightened it up now. There was a bit of a dip. Thanks to the level, you can see where it was. Give the level a wash. Always keep these clean. One more float. After 
after these reveals, you don't want a big sponge. I've just gone for this. It's just a square sponge, but it's perfect because the square edge you can use to put between the joints of your top reveal and your side reveal. So it is just perfect. Now, the first thing I do, I've always got one of these. Grab your little margin trowel, clean the edges of your beads first. Just get that out of the way. Top, sides, everywhere. Just clean them off. Clean that off in a minute. Okay, now, grab your sponge, give it a nice rinse. Then get started. Easy. Take the front of your sponge and just softly sponge it down. Hardly no pressure. You're literally just tickling it. Give it a nice, smooth texture. You can go the other way if you want. I actually prefer to go that way sometimes. I find you've got a bit more control. Literally just pushing it into the edge. Into the edge of the window whilst you're cleaning the back edge as well, turn it around. So, give it a good clean. That rain is coming. <laughs> and then do the tops. Top's a bit firmer, which is actually easier when the render's a bit, a bit firmer. But I had to rush to get it done. Clean any excess off the beach. The last one, again, important because you've got a straight edge at the top. Meet at the top between the two. Pull it down. What I do is pull it out to the side, so you get the internal angle, and then bring it down. Nice and soft. Hardly putting any pressure on. All you're doing is bringing the aggregate to the surface. Give it a nice textured look. Traditional sand cement. Clean off. You always want a clean sponge. Last bit. Now, green side of the sponge, what I like to do is clean that bead, get it back, back to the white, and it just really brings out that angle, gives it a sharp look, finishes it off nicely. As you can see, let's get the render off. There you go, nice reveals, tuck it into the window, over there, here, and then the whole side. So yeah, it's the best way to tackle window reveals, that's how you do them and get them bang on. Now I'm going to have a quick clean up, wrap this job up and I'm out of here, happy days, in a bit.